Hello, I want to find some Mars. If this keeps up, I may need a new category. This is almost too kooky, even for most liberals. Inside America's secret community of mermaids, where men and women identify as part human, part fish. And one gave up her job so she could concentrate on it full time. This is no kidding. Apparently these people are serious. Excuse me, uh, people, we're not fish. We don't have gills. We can't breathe underwater without proper apparatus, scuba, whatever. I'm sorry, that's the way it is. Caitlin Nielsen dreamed of being a mermaid from a young age and declared at kindergarten what she wanted, that was, it was what she wanted to be when she grew up. In 2015, the biology graduate quit her job to focus full-time on following her dream. She is a part of a growing community of people who identify as part human, part fish, and call themselves merfolk. Unreal. Uh, conservatives want to do this. When Caitlin Nielsen told the kindergarten teacher she wanted to be a mermaid when she grew up, the kids laughed at her. But now, age 32, Caitlin, Caitlin is living her dream. She is a part of a secret community of people who identify as part human, part fish, and call themselves merfolk. Caitlin is long dreamed of being a mermaid and watch this movie Little Mermaid and watching the mo movie Little Mermaid did nothing to ease her aspirations. So in 2015 biology graduate quit her job so she could focus full time on her real ambition being a full time mermaid. Uh oh boy. I've heard of people identifying as horses, but now mermaids? I don't care if people have their fun, but when they start taking this stuff seriously, that's when I start getting worried. Because like I said, these people are out of power, and they're getting kookier by the minute. No, I'm not getting into the debate, debate whether there really are mermaids more people or not. These are nutcases. They are fully human, but they have mental issues that, uh, have caused them to act like this. I've seen people who identify as dogs, horses. <laughs> I play a wild boar on uh, Second Life, but that's just all for fun and for RP, roleplay. I'm not serious about it. I mean, I'm me. When I'm off Second Life, I'm me. I'm not a wild boar. Look at these people. It's just a gift from they go in this pool flapping around. Uh, under her name Cyania, Cyania, she learns living, running mermaid workshops and creates mag majestic silicone tails. But for her, and for many more of her kind, it isn't, there isn't a kind here. These are nutcases. It's more than a tail. It's part of her and she refers to his prosthetic limb. She said, I do feel like my tail is part of me, and I do actually feel his prosthetic limb. Sometimes joke I'm, that I wear a prosthetic because I was born with a terrible defect, which is legs. When my tail is off, I feel a bit awkward. Sometimes I have legs, and I don't know what to do with them. I feel extremely clumsy. There's a growing community across America 
of people who identify as myrrh and spend their time donning elaborately decorated silicone tails that can cost up to $3,500 and take a year to make, swim in the sea and swimming in pools and tending myrrh conventions in, across the U.S. This group of professional mermaids converged on Myrrh Network, a former forum for merfolk to discover, discuss their new ventures and plan such conventions. Last year, hundreds of people from around the world gathered in Greensboro, North Carolina for the largest mermania convention where they spent hours in an Olympic-sized pool while sporting embellished handmade fins and makeup. But her mermaid life is not only a job, but a teaching opportunity. As a former biology graduate and child of marine biologist, she uses her new identity to teach others about ocean conversation. This goes on and on. I'm not going to go through the whole article. These people are harmless, but they're kooks. They're just out-and-out nutcases. I told you, you know, it's like, I'm going to say this one more time, it's like Rush Limbaugh says. Uh, liberals are out of power, they are fun. When they're in power, they're dangerous. I guarantee you, you wouldn't find a single conservative in the bunch. So if you're attracted to a uh, woman with a fishtail, which I am not, we'll just run through the pictures. Ooh. You're doing what? Carol Lamour has come to accept her daughter Tessie's passion to be a mermaid and has even attended a murder retreat and slipped on a tail herself. Well, there's there's a guy named Ed. Like I said, these are harmless, but they're kooks. And I expect, you know, with Donald Trump and the Congress being more Republican than Democrat, I expect these people to get kookier by the minute. This is going to be fun. Just a very light post from Artifacts. These people are harmless. They got, obviously, mental issues because they take this stuff seriously, but, uh, that's their problem. The Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching.